Hi, it's Susan from SusanWinter.net. Thank you for joining me today. I'm continuing with questions and answers. This one's from Laura. It's about, you know, how to diplomatically but effectively handle unwanted attention or pushiness from somebody. And um, it's written from a woman about the guys around her. But guys, this is also good for you to listen to as well because it might happen to you or you may want to know how to approach us differently okay to get the what you want and get a polite conversation with a willing recipient okay so um, Laura writes your videos are true pearls of wisdom oh God, I love this that you guys say these things you are so nice thank you thank you thank you for this could you talk about sensible practical tips for ladies to avoid or handle persistent or unwanted attention any red flags you've experienced and how to deal with pushiness, etc. Much love, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Love right back to you. Um, most every female who's listening to this right now, okay, every female, since the time you hit puberty, you've had to deal with this. And for the men listening, understand if you hit that one girl and you try and come on to her and she turns around and snaps at you hard, understand. She's been going through this for a good 10 years or more, okay? Not everybody is slick. A lot of guys are uncomfortable. And some men, just like some women that might come on to you guys as well, are not only pushy, they become aggressive and angry. You know why? Because they've been shot down a lot. And they're kind of anticipating it, but they're hostile before they begin, which is not a great way to pick somebody up. There are a number of things that we did in the past, we ladies. We would immediately mention, oh, my husband and I just came back from a trip, or would you like to do that? No, I'm, you know, sorry, I, I'm, I've got a boyfriend, sorry, I'm married. When a guy comes up to you, you know, and he's in your face. Um, there is a fine line between being genuinely, as a human being, polite, and what the other person perceives as being a con. I did another video on how to tell if they like you or if they're just being friendly because I've got this gorgeous young guy that I know that he's very friendly and very charismatic and every woman thinks it's special. So I understand it is hard to tell. There were guys in my gym who thought I, I was coming on to them. I, I mean, I, I can't in a million years believe this because I said hello and asked them how they were doing as they were next to me on using a piece of equipment, like I do everybody else. But we have to realize that a person gets the wrong impression according to their own unique life experience, which means if no one talks to them and you do, suddenly there's hope. I know guys that have been madly in love with a woman who was nice to them in grade school and have never forgotten it because in general nobody is and it's sad it's sad that people don't have a larger life be clear if you have to start right off the bat and you know if a person's approaching you and you know right away this looks dangerous I don't want this be very honest and direct say no, I'm sorry not interested you want to go out? No, I'm sorry. I, I do have a partner. Not possible. I have a guy across the street that I don't, he's in an office building. I don't, I don't know if he just watches the window, but you know, I have to walk my puppy about six times a day, seven times a day, every couple of hours, right? He just keeps running out. And now he's trying to negotiate being friends. Well, I'm trapped on the street. It's not like I can go away. I've got a dog attached to the leash. So I just said, no, not friends, not date, nothing. Please, leave me alone. This is now harassment. Okay? So sometimes you, we want to see, especially ladies. Laura, ladies belabor this so much more than men. We even go over how to break up with them when we've only, or like to not go out with them again if we've only had one date. Women are exceedingly conscious of, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Men are very clear. They're more transactional. Yes, no. Red light, green light. Give me a light. You have to be very clear with the man. If he's rational, he'll get it. Just have to say, no, not interested. Thank you, though. Wish you well. Um, 
it has to be very firm. If you beat around the bush, Laura, they're going to still think there's a chance. Okay? I remember a guy in college kept asking me out. And I, I, at one point, it was like the 20th time, and I said, why do you keep doing this? He said, because a thousand no's is a yes. And through a bizarre twist of circumstance, I was young at the time, somehow I ended up someplace with him, and he kind of got his date, and it was the first and last date ever. But, you know, I kind of never forgot that because he was so persistent. Now, if this is in the workplace, your first bit of advice can be, this is unwanted, and it's uncalled for, especially in this environment, or even on the outside. So this is your warning. The next time, if this happens, I'm going straight to HR. Please don't make me do that. So, you know, starting as a human being and having a normal conversation would be the way a healthy man gets to know a woman. Coming at her directly for her number off the street or someplace where he corners her, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, guys, you're going to get a no because it's too intense and it, there's no foundation for it, okay? All these things are incremental. When we want to get to know somebody, we have to drop little pennies in the bank in advance. So, guys, if you've been getting a no, chances are you haven't had a chance to talk to her enough. If it's somebody you see repeatedly, nod, say hi. Next time, hey, how are you doing? See if she goes along with it. And then talk about something. Nice day, isn't it? Next time you see her, oh, I think it's going to rain. Hey, how was your weekend? Good, good, good. See if she stops and talks to you. That's what, but you have to keep putting into the bank before you can ever take your money out, okay? So that's the way a healthy relationship starts. Laura, thank you so much for this question. And by the way, we do have greater recourse now than we did in the past. Thank you for all the attention in the press and in the media. Um, thank you all for writing me. I love it when you give me your questions because I know what you're thinking and the things on your mind. Thank you, those of you who've come to my consultation page. And especially, I've had a number of people book a day with Susan. That's five hours with me. I take you to a really nice private club here in New York. Um, and the people that are calling me on Magnify, I really appreciate it. I love getting to know you all personally. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.